Welcome to this brief tutorial on how to set up your access to become a guest author on the class blog for JTC 316 this summer. In this video, you'll learn how to set up your account, create a new blog post, add images and videos, and publish the post when you're done. You received an email inviting you to become an author on the class blog, Reflections on Multiculturalism and Media. Open the email and click the Accept Invitation button. That will take you to the login page on WordPress.com. Your email should already be entered. Create a username that makes it clear who you are. It's best to use your first and last name, or just your first name if you prefer. Then create a password and click sign up and join. If you already have a WordPress account, you'll get an error message like this one. In that case, click log in now just below the email box and log in with your normal WordPress username and password. If you need to use a different email for your account, contact the professor. Once you've logged in, you'll see your guest author dashboard for the blog. There, you'll see the list of posts that have already been published. To see only the posts you've published, click the Me button on top. To create a new post, click the Add New Post button in the upper right-hand corner of the dashboard. You'll see a blank post page ready for writing. Click the title area and type in a title that's descriptive and will make your audience interested in reading what you have to say. Then, write your post between 400 and 750 words. It's easy to add links, images, videos, and other layout elements to your post. To add a hyperlink, first select the text you want to link and then click the link button. Paste the URL and click the curved blue submit arrow. It's a good idea to make external links open in a new page too. If you want to add other kinds of elements like images and videos, click the paragraph before the place you want to add an element and hit enter. This will create a new block. Then click the black and white plus sign on the right and then click browse all on the bottom of the pop-up window that appears. The full list of element options will show up on the left. Scroll down to add text, media, or design elements. It's fun to experiment with these and formatting goes a long way to helping your post be interesting and readable for your audience. To add an image, and I recommend you always try to have some visual interest in your posts, scroll to the media section and click the image icon. You can upload an image you've saved on your computer, or you can select one from the media library where other people have uploaded images used on the blog. Once you've inserted it, you can resize the image by dragging the blue dots on the side or bottom. Add a caption to give credit to the image source, especially if you use a still or a screenshot from a movie or TV. If you post a photo you took yourself, give yourself that credit. You can leave the image on its own line, or you can make the text wrap around it. To wrap the text, click this Change Alignment button above the image block. Click Align Left or Right to wrap the text on one side. To insert a video, follow these same steps. However, you do have to link to a URL, such as a YouTube video, because only the paid version of WordPress allows you to upload videos directly to the blog. Paste the URL into the box and click the blue Embed button to finish up. Once you're done adding all your content and formatting, make sure to read everything over to catch any lingering typos and break up paragraphs if they're too long. Before you publish, you should add a featured image for your post. This will automatically appear at the top of your post, and it will be part of the post preview on the blog's main page. Featured images really help draw in your readers. Show the settings menu if it's not already visible by clicking on the gear icon in the upper right corner of the page. Then click on the post tab and scroll down to featured image. Click to expand, then click set featured image. Upload a new image or use one from the library. It's a good idea to use an image that's different from any you've already used in your post. There's one last thing you need to do. On the right, go to Categories and click to expand. Uncheck the Uncategorized box and select a category that corresponds to the week's topic that your blog is addressing. When you're ready, click the blue button in the upper right that says Publish to go live. Confirm and you're good to go. To view your post, click View Post on the bottom left or just go to the blog URL to find it. If you have any questions or run into any trouble, feel free to contact me and I can walk you through solutions. Happy blogging!